Hey peeps, welcome to D's Corner. Thank you guys for tuning in on today's video on D's Corner. We got so much tea to talk about, it's crazy. But hit the like button, subscribe, and notification bell because those three important things is going to be what brings the tea. Okay, and if you leave a comment on my video and if I like it, you're going to get a shout out. And follow me on D's Corner at Twitter and on Instagram. So let's get ready to hop in on these crazy hot topics. Oh uh, yes, you guys, the tea that we are talking about in today's video it happened. We don't have to allegedly say allegedly. So we could just say, let's just give it an, an advice type thing. But hi, new subscribers. I was so amazed on how we jumped this week in subscriber algorithm y'all y'all really showed out so we have cj so cool cj so cool uploaded a video somebody broke into our home scary there was a part in the video where lexi said something that fans was not happy with this is what lexi's quote unquote supposed to say close the door in there close the door in there the other door the other door <laughs> I'm not going to say it in the video just to keep this channel, you know, decent. But did y'all hear what she said? Like, it was so clear. <laughs> I, I, I heard it. I thought I heard it. But what do you guys say? Because it was just too clear as day. And I think I'm not even surprised because nowadays her type of crowd will use it in the category faithfully like they okay with it but you know when they're around the actual person that is what they're saying or is what they call us to be a stereotype as they know how to use it and they don't know how to use it so i'm not i'm not impressed by what she's saying because it's just mm -mm. but i'm not surprised at the same time because at the end of the day people gonna say that and i wish they wouldn't because they wouldn't want us to be saying the C word, if you get what I'm saying, you know. But, um, did you guys hear it? I heard it clear. So, let's talk about CJ So Cool and Royalty. So, of course, it's Thursday. Of course, you know, every Thursday before CJ get the twins, he has to see a court day. So, apparently in the court day, Royalty is like saying, oh, I'm all this, I'm all that. Where is the proof? Blase, blase, or either Mama Royalty is having her two cents, and it's like, blah, 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 all the above. Mama don't know how to stay in her lane. Royalty trying to put play the image of the good girl, the mother image, but even though Royalty do do stuff that she don't really supposed to do as a mother, she tries to put on the internet show like, um, you know, how they do. When it comes out to couples breaking up, oh, I'm the mother. I do this right. You don't do this. When the girlfriend's around, you know, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you've been there, you should, you know, relate to what I'm saying. But Royalty posted this. I've been called everything under the sun. Whole entire court case. But a bleep worker is mind-blowing. Now, a lot of people know that his current girlfriend, just like his current girlfriend, quote-unquote, supposed to be the same thing that... He's calling her, allegedly. We don't know. We haven't had the receipts given stating that he called her that in the court case. So we're just going to title this part of the video alleged. But um, do you guys think Royalty do that with Rico? Because Rico hours of the day, the way he gets up and go to bed and she gets up, go to bed, blah, 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 you know. So Trey and Senia. Train Senior uploaded a video talking about their relationship and what could have been better, what could have been, you know, avoided. <laughs> they did a video stating about how their feelings were in the entire video. And part of them, in most of their relationship, they were young. Now that they're growing, they're seeing his point of view and her point of view. So this is what they had to say about their reason why their relationship failed. And I feel like our our biggest downfall in our relationship was just being young. 
You know what I'm saying? Which some shit, like, you can't avoid that. Like, we right. was young, you feel me? It's a lot of shit we didn't know. It's a lot of shit we had to grow. You know what I'm saying? And we taught each other shit that we did like and that we didn't like. You feel mm -hmm. me? So, yeah, I feel like that was our biggest downfall. I think, um, what you feel like our biggest downfall with biggest downfall <laughs> I mean, that's why I'm going to speak for myself. Though. Okay, yeah. So I'm not going to speak based off the whole relationship. Okay. But for myself, it was really, um, it was really attention. That's like I feel like our relationship, we didn't really pay attention to it as much as like, as much as we should. Like you as know, much, you know yeah, how things were. Right. Yeah, so like everything was really like. I play a part in that though. It just was like, it felt more strict on business versus strict on love, <laughs> in a sense. So okay. it was like okay, you know, like you I had what you saying, had, yeah. you had you had what you was going on, had what you had going on. You know, you was right. working every day, you still doing it. You know, what I'm saying mm -hmm. making your music, all of that, and then I was just starting off being an influencer. Which yes, guys, he did give me the platform, which all y'all love to say he did. You don't have to say but that, I still grew, I that. still grew my supporters on like, my own. Yeah, you did. I feel you, like you, you know, did, dude, yeah, yeah, like did. they still like me. You had your own channel, you had your, you did. Right, but. So yeah, I, feel I, like I would just, agree though. We wasn't paying attention to it. Wasn't like it wasn't enough. It was, but but I and I would say like me as being a man, I would say that I take part in that solely because as being a relationship, you is like as a man, you is supposed to be the leader. You feel me? I feel like that was my downfall in a relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm so, but like before you met me though, I was already. You feel me? I've been paying my mom's bills since 18 years old. You feel me? Like. To have a real responsibility like we didn't move like me and my brother we didn't move him you know me and her mother removed them out the hood since we was like teenagers right. you feel me so mm -hmm. we had a big resp responsibility when you met me that's all i know you yeah. feel me it's work 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 this that that and i'm in a whole relationship and i forget at times even though i feel like i still am you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying i'm giving something i ain't just giving nothing but now me being a man being you feel me growing older i'm able to be like I wasn't giving enough in that area. You feel me? Like I was making sure shit was good, bills paid, making sure this is good, making sure everybody got what they need. But as far as that emotional side, I know for I I gave it, but I didn't give enough. Like yeah, enough that's it. needed in a relationship. And me as being the man is like I chose to be in a relationship. So it's like even though I'm busy, too. If I was too busy, I yeah. should have never got in one. You mm -hmm. feel me? But it was not. I don't really feel like it was just like I'm too busy for you. It was just more so. My mindset was. I think you were just too busy for a relationship. Like, I just feel like <laughs> oh, you so weren't. No, 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 I'm not. See, y'all, he better take your Hey, look. No, so I'm just, just saying, okay. like, because that's what you always used to tell me. Every day it was like, every time I complained, but I'm not going to lie, sometimes I did complain off my own emotions and I just should have sat there and, you know, I can admit that. Okay. That was being a girl, mm -hmm. basically, most of the time. But sometimes it was like, okay. Every time I would bring up to you about the the days or, you know, like, mm -hmm. we're not going out enough or, like, the only right. time we would go out would be with everybody else, it was like, okay, you will always say, well, you know I'm working every day, you know I'm working every day. I'm like, okay, I'm trying to understand that, but I'm still, but you still I still, still need here, you. Yeah. yeah, and then I got pregnant and I needed you more even then, but it's like you worked harder even more. And I get why, because we had a baby on the way, but... Yeah, it was like, it was like it, still it, make that it time. Was even like, if it was like three o'clock in the morning, I'm in the video and said, "Yes, I could have made more time for sure." Like that's something that I realized. Like, not obviously going to read through the whole entire thread, but you guys can, you know, you know, go through the whole thread and pause the video if you like. And that's how you get everything about what he said in the comment section. But how do you actually feel about both parties together? Once they all sat down. So the fans was like, he was raised on survival. She was raised on love. It would take a lot for them to understand each other. Would you guys rather be raised on survival or would you rather be raised on love? Question of the day. And, she's, and this other person said, she loved him for him. She didn't care about the things he could buy. Men don't understand affection. It's almost everything that a woman needs. That's also priceless. We need that affection. We need it. We need it because it's very important no matter what. I can say, like, I can agree when she said when she became pregnant. Emotions go above and beyond, let's just say. And do you guys, if you have experienced a female, okay, if you're a female and you have experience being pregnant, 
did you guys experience a good pregnancy or not so good pregnancy where there was less affectionate and more materialistic things being offered to try to make you feel good to have what you feel about that if your partner or someone who you thought was real close to you gave you more of that instead of affection but anyways you guys so what you think about today's video i hope you guys like it welcome to these corner if you are new and if you are new please don't forget to after you get done watching this video like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because we are growing. I'm so happy that we are growing. Leave a comment and shout out and follow us on our social medias. All right, guys. Bye.